Hello everyone, my name is Azatru, how are you? And welcome to another LEGO Star Wars gaming news video. In this video I'm going to be sharing with you some very bad news. LEGO Star Wars Battles has been cancelled by TC Games and Playdemic. That's right, the long-awaited LEGO Star Wars Clash Royale inspired game is shutting down before it even has released worldwide and even left the two year long beta it has had. This game would have been a great game to release alongside Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. Many of us thought it probably would have done despite the delays to both of these Lego Star Wars games. This game was well liked by its small community, but to be honest, I saw this coming a very long time ago. Communication from the dev team has been lacking ever since the beginning and it barely got updated. Its last update was all the way back in November 2020, and that was the last piece of communication since today that we've had about this game, which is really sad. A message was sent out to players on the app today titled, An Important Message to Our Players. It goes on to say, We are sorry to say that LEGO Star Wars Battles will be closing. The game will no longer be available to download, and officially closed on Thursday, July 1st. As of today, you will no longer be able to make in-app purchases. If you have any in-game currency, remember to use it before the game goes offline on the 1st of July. And we want to thank all of our players who have supported the game, and we hope to see you soon in a galaxy not too far, far away. They didn't even add clans after being promised since 2019. It would have been so much better if those were in the game and any other features that never came to fruition. Let me know down in the comment section below if you played this game and if you are going to be affected by this. I personally stopped playing almost about a year ago when it got really boring, full of pay to win players and bots that Playdemic put in to fill up the servers and it just wasn't a fun experience after a year or so. At least for me personally and I know some people still play this game. So if you are a player like me, you have just over a month to keep playing this game before it is gone forever. That's right, it's not coming back because it is an always online game. It needs servers to connect to actually load up the game and access all of your inventory and stuff. It is very sad so many people did not get chance to experience this game because it did have a lot of good things going for it. It looked nice and the gameplay was fun. It was pay to win though, and the fact that they took money off people for almost two years in the beta is shameful, but that's the mobile gaming industry for you, which is not a good place, in my opinion. In case you don't know, this game was actually released in some countries like India back when it was announced in September 2019, and it was given a release date of early 2020. Now, early 2020 came around and nothing happened. It was released in a few other countries, such as Sweden, but we never got an update to the release dates. A random website, I think at the end of last year or the start of this year, said that it was coming out March 2021. I tried telling people it's not true. The website has no information. It's a lie. And everyone told me I was wrong, and March came around, it didn't release, and now it's being shut down. So that website lied to all of the players. Obviously, TT and Playdemic have reasons for shutting this game down. It probably did not bring in as much money as they thought it would have or needed, and I'm sure there are other factors included as well. It's probably just not a money thing. It's just a shame to see a lot of great work the developers put in to make this game, be such wasted potential and I'm not surprised by this honestly that it's been shut down. Hopefully one day we will get more Star Wars and Lego Star Wars games that are not killed off before reaching their full potential. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this down in the comment section below and if you haven't already make sure you do subscribe for more Lego Star Wars the Skywalker Saga news updates because when they come potentially next month I will have videos on them, so make sure you ring the bell and turn notifications on. Drop a like to help support the channel, check out any of the two previous videos on screen, and I shall see you in my next LEGO Star Wars video. Goodbye.